Hello, on this video I want to cover a little bit more on permissions since this new workflow relies a lot of the, the access level we give to our users. So I created two folders, this plan folder under the plan section and this manual folder under the projects, project files. And I already collaborated under the plan folder as a, as a user not as an administrator, I call, collaborate a file here. So I just want to start saying that on the getting started um, uh, guide from Autodesk, they say that you cannot collaborate files under the plan section, but that's, that's not 100% sure. You cannot collaborate files on this se sec section as long as you are not given permission or you are not an admin of the project. So I want to cover this type of permissions. Before we were handling permissions using design collaboration. So we were assigned a folder, the folder where were automatic automatically created, like these team folders and the shared folders, they were automatically created. I wish uh, we could differentiate with a, with some color or highlighting uh, the, pro the folders that were created automatically by by using the the design collaboration tab um, versus the ones that we create manually because if we delete uh, one of these projects we, we're going to be deleting our, our cloud work sharing uh, Revit models as well so we need to be careful not to change the name after after uploading our files or you know, or or del even deleting the the folders. So I created this manual folder, as I said before, and we're gonna go to permissions. And I already gave uh, permission to to the other user from from the furniture file to access this this file uh, as view only. So notice also also that we have four different levels or five different ways that we can we can give permission to a folder to to some to a user upload only upload uh, view view and upload upload and edit and uh, edit and control so just to give you an example if we set to view only uh, this user will be able to 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 see the files here in the in the browser and also uh link files on revit so we're gonna see how that works so uh i am using uh the revit the revit session of the furniture uh team so this user was given permission to act, to view this manual folder as we see here, he's not able to see any any models in, to open. He cannot open the model. Now in the next portion, we'll see if he can link the model. So we open the <coughs> the window to to link uh, Revit files, and as we see here, we also have the the plan folder and the manual folder under the manual folder. It is the file that we we have permission to view. So as we see here, we can we can link this file, but we cannot open because we were just given permissions to view. So we can we can do a comparison here, and we can tell that this is very close of uh, from what we did before by sharing packages. And, uh, and consuming packages, we can we can see them, we can link them to bring context to our project, but we cannot edit them. Back on the admin account, we've changed the permissions for this user, and we've changed them for uh, for view, upload, and edit. So we're gonna we're gonna now go back to Revit and see if. Uh, this user is able to open it after giving permission to the manual folder as an editor. So we are back on the Revit, the Revit session of the editor. Uh, 
and we're gonna open the manual folder where that file is and we can if we hit open see we we're able to to see this this file that was shared with us so there are different ways to to collaborate files and and share it with uh, within your team not only uh, through the design collaboration teams but also you can just give permission to companies roles or 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 users uh, just using the folders the folder structure now if we take a look of the bin 360 docs for this user uh, we can now see that uh, it's going to be able to upload files to this folder as well and uh, and also be able to to access it through Revit as we saw. I also want to point out that I I shared I I collaborated a file uh, with that user uh, under the plan section using uh, I created a plan folder and as you see here we collaborated a file which is two manual folders dot revit dot rvt but it created two views so if I said on previous videos that it, the, 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 these two sections they behave differently it is because this one is the section above is gonna ex try to extract any any type of view that we set on 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 our sets that we publish uh, in the Revit file is gonna try to extract extract all those views and sheets that you have there. Same with AutoCAD files is gonna extract model and layouts, um, PDFs uh, is gonna extract pages. So it behaves differently. Uh, this section of the document management manager in the document management module versus the project files section so and also i just want to finish saying that uh, we can collaborate files here but uh, i wouldn't recommend it uh, since autodesk uh, states on the their guidelines that it, it shouldn't work but it is working but maybe they're still working in the back end and they, they might they might change or block uh, the that portion for for collabor for for BIM three sixty design and we won't be able to do it anymore in the future. But who knows? Thank you very much.